Closing arguments this afternoon in the lawsuit of the family of a mentally ill man shot and killed by an APD officer in his own backyard. The family is asking for millions from the city. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart was in the courtroom today. She joins us live from the Newsplex. Dean, it's been an emotional week for the family of Christopher Torres. Today, their attorney and the cities were given just five minutes to sum up their arguments to the judge. He was a good guy. It was his house, and no one should have broken into his yard and shot him three times in the back. Torres' family attorney, Randy McGinn, recounted the day C.J. Brown and Richard Hilger confronted Torres, who's schizophrenic, in his own backyard. The two were there to arrest him for a prior road rage case. After a struggle, Brown shot Torres three times in the back. APD claims Torres reached for Hilger's gun, and his DNA was found on the gun, but experts couldn't tell whether it came from Torres' hands. Torres' attorneys also pointed out how APD didn't follow their procedures for dealing with the mentally ill. But the city claims that's not negligence and brought up prior complaints of reckless driving and Torres' use of the drug spice. They say it all led up to a perfect storm for a dangerous situation for officers that day. With the underlying schizophrenia, the lack of prescription medications, and the use of the drug spice created a situation that when these officers arrived, rapidly went downhill. Now, there is no jury in this case, so a judge will have to decide whether to award the family the $4 million they're asking for in damages. Dean?